Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I love this time of the year. I love getting outside and doing some hiking and exploring. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add a paracord wrap to your hiking stick. And if we have time, we'll also go over a few other things that you can add to decorate your stick or enhance it. So join with me and let's get started. Okay, the first thing we want to do is kind of figure out where we're going to put the paracord wrap. And you kind of want to figure out, well, where, where should I be gripping the hiking stick or what was comfortable for me? Now, the most ergonomic, uh, I guess, recommended way uh, to grip a hiking stick is to have your forearm and your upper arm uh, roughly about 90 degrees. That's sort of the recommended or ergonomic uh, grip. However, what I'd recommend is just take the stick, walk around, hike around with it a little bit, and kind of feel where do, where do you normally grab it, what, what, what feels comfortable, and then take a pencil and sort of mark that area, and that'll kind of give you an idea of where you need to center the paracord wrap. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is tie a uh, clove hitch. That's what I'm showing you how to do here. And what I like to do is I leave a little bit extra on the end, probably six to seven inches, and I'll show you later what I'm going to do with that extra paracord. Okay, and now to start the paracord wrap, uh, all you really do is simply uh, go up underneath the uh, stick. So I'm showing you here and bring that around get over back around through the loop and then you just cinch and tighten it up so you just keep following that pattern you're going under the stick back around through the loop pull it tight and cinch it back up so you just keep following this process over and over again Okay, those, for those who are not familiar with uh, this type of uh, wrap, uh, this I'm using 550 paracord material, which you can find at uh, craft stores, uh, military surplus stores, uh, even I think maybe Walmart probably carries some of this. But uh, you can get different designs, different colors. I think this is maybe like a Desert Storm camo type uh, color. And I'm working with, uh, you know, my preferred uh, uh, stick. Now, you can make hiking sticks out of anything, but I like to just go get a, 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 a poplar, P-O-P-L-A-R, poplar dowel, you know, from your local home improvement store. And it's, it's a very light wood, and it's, it's very durable. Uh, the one I'm working with here is about a, an inch and a half wide, and... What I figured is that I need about 36 inches of paracord for about every inch that I wrap. So figure out like how, you know, how long of a wrap do you want? And I think I normally do six or seven inches of a wrap. And that tells me how many inches of paracord I need to lay out and uh, cut. And then when we get to the end, I'll show you how to finish this. Okay, here you can see we're getting closer to uh, finishing up this wrap, but I just wanted to point out that what I like about this paracord wrap is the nice spiral design that you get uh, as you go through this. Now, there's other ways you can do a paracord wrap if you don't want that spiral, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the design. Okay, now we've gotten to the end of our paracord wrap, and I, I'm going to leave about 7 inches on this end when I cut it. And you see me here just kind of singeing the end of it real lightly with the, the lighter. Um, and after you do this, make sure that you let it dry. Take a few couple of minutes to let it dry because it will burn. But uh, we want to do this to kind of get the, keep it from un, the paracord from unwrapping. 
Okay, now I'm going to take those two uh, seven inch pieces that I left on both ends and you can do one of two things here. You can just tie a simple overhand knot like I'm showing you here and then just leave it like that. That's going to create just a little bit of a strap for you there and it'll also help keep those ends tightened up uh, in case they start to unravel a little bit. I've also, you probably noticed I put some hair scrunchies on mine here that you can see on both ends to kind of keep it. Now the other thing uh, that you can do is, is add some decoration and here you can see I'm adding a, a deer antler tine. Just threading those paracord through the hole and then I'll tie a knot on the end. You could also add, say, beads or whatever kind of decoration that you want on this little strap here. So it's really just open to the imagination. Of course, there are other ways you can uh, enhance your hiking stick or decorate it. Uh, here you can see I'm um, uh, using a uh, leather lanyard and a concho combination and I'll, I'm going to make a separate video on that but you've also seen me use my carved uh, hiking stick toppers as you can see here that are carved out of basswood and I have at least two videos showing you how to do that so just many ways that you can enhance a hiking stick here. One of the things I, I love to do is uh, collect uh, hiking stick medallions uh, when I visit different parks and so one thing you can do is if you got a favorite park uh, attach one of these medallions to your hiking stick it usually just involves some CA glue and they usually provide some nails it's generally a good idea to add a rubber uh, foot to the bottom of your hiking stick just to you know make it last longer of course you don't have to do anything but this one here I'm showing you is a little bit more on the expensive side but you can also buy just the simple uh, rubber uh, covers that come in different sizes. You can get those at your local uh, home improvement store. But as you can see here, this one comes with a spike for, uh, I guess, inclement weather. And then you can screw this rubber footing on there. If you've got a good wood burner, then, uh, you know, decorating your hiking stick, uh, you know, this becomes very much easier because now you can just add a design to it. It could be words, it could be symbols. Uh, I like to put Bible verses on mine or uh, quotes or different symbols. So another common thing people like to add to their hiking sticks uh, or incorporate into the paracord uh, wrapping are these uh, compasses. And you can also see in the upper right hand corner where I have uh, glued a compass into a recess on the top of one of my hiking staffs. As for finishing your hiking stick, of course you don't really have to uh, do that, but I do think it helps the uh, aesthetics of the stick and it also helps it last longer. So what I'll normally do is use a, you know, just a really nice looking stain on this poplar wood and then over that maybe a uh, two or three light coats of spar urethane that will help your hiking stick last a lot longer well guys i hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching i will see you down the trail and hope to see you in the next video